Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is August 11th, and well, Barrow is back in the Orcus Relay. Um, I am still sick, very sick with uh, COVID. It, it hurts to swallow right now, but I can talk fine. Anyways, our streams are still live. We're just doing chill, comfy streams over the next few days. Tenno, and they're probably shorter than usual. But feel free to, to stop me. by and say hi. My if you want to see what Barrow has, well, let's go check it is out. Now available for viewing. Prisma Oma is the new one. Hmm, for what I'm looking at here, more crit, less status. If we look at the normal Oma, it looks like this. 15, 230, 224. Then again, 20% status is still very usable. That passes 100% with Weeping Wounds. So maybe that one is to your liking. I would say pick this one up. Seems to be it could be a decent weapon. I mean, it is Tonfa's after all with Silver and Outcast. Prem Pressure Point. Mandatory mod, especially for heavy attack builds, especially if you don't have access to the sacrificial mods or don't want to spend the whole form to fit them on. Prem Pistol Gambit. I would still recommend picking this up despite the fact that we have the 200% crit minus 20 fire rate one because there are weapons you won't want to use that on. Plus, this might just work better on your polarities depending on what your alternative builds are. Prime Quick Draw, very useful. Actually, I would recommend this one primarily for Tenet Plank stuff because this extra reload speed both cuts down the charge time but also the delay before the battery regenerates. Machete Wraith, pretty outdated these days. It's slightly better than the, mach the Prisma Machete and slightly better Dispo too, but the Slaytra has significantly better stats in general. If you have a Ribbon, I mean, I guess feel free to use it, but the Slaytra out of the box is significantly better. Display Argyle for your ship or for your dojo. Prampena Corpus, especially if you run Profit Taker or Sisters of Parvo's content, I would recommend picking this up. The Katir armor set the whole standard armor set is back a little bit bulky but if you want it this is what it looks like and it is back again we have the scimitar prisma skin looks like that katir solo earpiece returns again and then we have katir dax sandana i don't really like how bulky this is and the weird material and drapes on the back but if you want it feel free to pick it up Opticore Elixir skin. Here's another Elixir returning once again. They have really nice detailing on the textures. So if you ever want that bronzed effect on your Opticore, well, now you can pick it up. You can even put it on maybe the Vandal? I'm unsure. Xylock returns once again. Xylock and Karnon is a thing now, albeit a little bit copium, but at least they fixed the AoE line of sight bug on it. It is charged though. So, if you want to pick it up, or at least for the mastery rank points, here it is. The Prisma Rostam Kubro armor is here. It actually looks kind of cool. We have Glaring Emblem. Can't really see it on my chest, but it's just a Kavad. Anyways, Ignis Tosin skin returns once again. Puspa Luxum ornament for your Orbiter or your Dojo. Vad Luxum, same thing. Katir Ephemera returns. Actually, it's been a little while since this has showed up. It's just some Katir diamonds floating up around you. Anyone, thank you for the help, Blessing. Empyrean Vignette looks like this. If you wanted to put a bunch of spaceships in your personal quarters, well, you're gonna need this for the fish tank. Then we have Lunar Renewal Emblem. Again, it's here. As well as Fate Path Ephemera and the Sands of Anaros Blueprint for Anaros if you haven't done it yet. And of course, if you show up with an Aros Prime, you'll gain access to the Lost Signal quest item that lets you escort to Barrow himself on a mission. What do you get out of it? Well, you'll have to do it Until yourself to find time. out. But that's what Barrow has brought for this week. Um, uploads are still going to be a bit slow. Streams will be shorter. Until they get better. It's a little bit pange. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe goes a long way. I'll see you all next time.